Okay, let's go ahead and give our pumpkin guy the ability to shoot. So I'm going to add new object, sprite. I'm going to call the sprite gun. Add animation. Create with pistol. And I'm going to make a sweet gourd gun. There it is. And I'm going to add the behavior fire bullets. Hit OK. And now I'm going to drag it on to my pumpkin guy. OK. Now let's go ahead and open up the gun. I'm sorry, that's a lie. Open up the hero. We're going to select edit points. And we're going to create a point where the gun is going to be attached. So I'm going to add a point. Call this gun. And I'm going to place the gun right there. Hit close. And now I'm going to go to my event sheet. I'm going to create a new group called Gun. OK, add a new event. And what I'm going to do is I want to connect this gun to that piece on my um, hero. So to do that, I'm going to add a new event, which I did. And now the action on my gun is going to be position. So my X position is going to be the point that I created on my hero, right? So my hero point x, because I'm on the x point x, point x, right, going left to right, and then parenthesis, quote, gun, quote, close it up. So on my x-axis of hero point, I'm going to add it to where the gun is on the x. So that would be here, right? And then the y would be here. So go ahead and apply. And then add, instead of x, we're going to add y. So I'm just copying, pasting, and adding it on the y. OK. Let's preview it. All right, it is attached, but it's attached incorrectly. So what I need to do here is mess with my points, but I will do that later. OK, what I want to do is have my gun rotate to where my cursor is so that I fire the bullets based on where I'm pointing.
So to do that, we're going to add another action in our gun. Always add the action of my gun. And I want it to rotate towards a position. So rotate towards a position. And the position is going to be where my cursor is. So cursor. X position. And then the cursor Y position. And we want to keep it at zero because enter zero for immediate act, immediate rotation. We want it to rotate immediately. Hit OK. Let's preview it. And now you can see it rotates and follows the mouse or cursor, whatever you want to call it. All right, now I want to give our gun the ability to shoot. So we need to add the firing behavior, fire bullet. Here, I'll delete that just so you can see. Add behavior, fire bullets, and then hit apply. So that's all you have to do to give it the ability to fire the bullets. Now we need to create the bullet. So add a new object, sprite, and we'll call this bullet. Add animation, edit with pistol. And I'm just going to make some like orangish pumpkin guts, right? Whatever. And then I'll duplicate that. And then on this one, I'll throw in some like darker. That's some pretty dynamic pumpkin guts. Okay. Apply it. Now we need to create how it's fired. So we're going to go back to our scene. We're going to add an action. And the action is going to be fire bullets towards an angle. Fire bullets towards an angle. And the object is going to be the gun. And the bullet object is going to be our bullet. And let's go ahead and hit OK for now. All right, we have to add spawn points for our bullet. I mean, I'm sorry, for our gun. Edit points. Right now we have center, origin, and we're going to add bullet point bullet point bully point bullet point. Okay. So we want our bullet point to be coming out at the end. Right? The center is going to be here, and then the origin is going to be here. And this may be different depending on how you styled your gun, and that's totally okay. All right, when I preview it now, you can see that my, my pointer's all messed up. And that's okay. It just means I need to fix points on either my gun or my uh, hero.
but that's not a big deal. We can fix that simple. Okay, we're going to open up our bullet. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to go to our scene. We're going to open up this fire bullet. And we need to create an expression to tell where the exhibition of where to fire the bullet. So go and hit this little expression builder, epsilon, whatever you want to call it. And let's type in point. And we're going to select the X position of a point. X position of a point. And our object is the gun. And the name of the point was bullet point. Apply. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Y. Right, so it's going to create the bullet at the X and Y point of our bullet point. Hit apply. OK. All right, we still need to add the angle and the speed. So the angle is going to be the angle of the gun. So we just type in gun dot angle. Close it up. And the speed will be 100. OK. Preview. And now we have bullets looking all crazy. So we definitely need to work on our points. But you can see it's working, so that's a good thing. Alright, so right now everything is shooting all the time and we want to change that. So let's add a new event and we're going to move this into the action. So right now, it's always going to be firing the bullet from the position. So we want to set it so that when the mouse click happens, we shoot the bullet. So the condition is mouse. Mouse button is released. Left. OK. Now let's preview it. Now you can see it's shooting when I click. It's still not shooting right, but at least it's shooting. Let's check our bullet points in set our origin. Set our center. Close and let's see if this is any better. No, it's not. It's horrible. Okay, that's okay. So we're going to have to do some messing around in our pumpkin points. Uh, let's try that. Apply. Preview. All right. It's the complete opposite. So we need to do some work on that. But you can see it's working functionally. I'm going to play around with the points, find the right ones, and then I'll be back. OK, so I modified my points my bullet points here my center is here and my origin is here and then on my bullet my points were origin center 
and then when I preview, now I've got my gun. Pop, 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 pop. Maybe I'll shrink this a little bit, make it a little bit thinner. Here we go. So now I'm shooting pumpkin guts. All right, they're going forever. We don't want them to go forever. So let's go ahead and modify it so that it doesn't just go forever. So let's go back to our events. And we're gonna add a new event. And we're gonna go distance. between two objects. Let's see, here we go. Distance between two objects. Okay, so it's gonna be the hero and the bullet. And let's make the distance six. No, let's make it 400. Invert condition. And we're gonna delete object bullet. Okay, so in the distance, between it is not below 400, it's gonna delete the bullet. Let's see. Yep, so now it's disappearing. Cool. And that is how you do it.